On July 27, 1803, the very first court case was tried in Montgomery County, Ohio, on the second floor of a tavern in downtown Dayton. In the over 200 years since that date, hundreds of thousands of cases have made their way through the Montgomery County court system. Throughout the years, Montgomery County has strived to be a leader in providing citizens with improved access to the courts. That innovative spirit continues today with the use of information technology. In the past, paper records were the norm for each case file. As you can imagine, the volume of paper grew and grew year after year. Now, that centuries-old tradition is going in a new direction. In 2006, the Clerk of Courts and the General Division of the Montgomery County Common Pleas Court embarked on an exciting project, creating a process that files court pleadings and documents electronically. Electronic filing of court documents has been implemented in many courts in the United States, including most of the federal district courts. The need for this technology is great. The storage of paper files and documents has caused archive areas to overflow. Electronic filing addresses that issue and also allows for the clerk of courts to serve the needs of the legal profession and the public by having documents available almost instantly. After months of research, planning, development, and testing, electronic filing is now being implemented in Montgomery County. Uh, before e-filing came along, uh, I was in a situation where I had to send someone physically to the courthouse just about every day. Under the paper filing, you know, it would take maybe three to four days before you even saw something cross your desk. Before e-filing, somebody would bring uh, paperwork and money into the clerk of court's office. They would go ahead and take the paperwork, present it to the counter. Uh, they would accept the filing, uh, file stamp it, uh, and then uh, they would have to have enough copies that it would not only be distributed to the people involved, but also to the court. Every day we would get a run from the clerk's office, civil and criminal filings. Um, they would be dropped off and then the bailiff would have to determine what needed to be done with each one of those filings. Some days it would, could be yay high um, and to work through that and that's on top of everyone walking in your office, wanting things signed and things like that. So yes, it could be quite cumbersome. You know, we have to figure out how are we going to get all these papers to the courthouse uh, as quickly as possible. So that really got down to overnight mail packages that were huge, uh, perhaps even boxes, or, you know, people that would physically deliver the complaint or whatever pleadings we have to the courthouse and normally stand around and wait for them to be clocked in and docketed and returned to us. It was crowded. Uh, it was not unusual, especially from uh, 2 o'clock on, people getting in filings at the end of the day to have people lined up waiting to be uh, waited on at the counter. We'd had three people manning the counter every day, and it was very congested, a lot of activity going on. Basically, in my practice, I do quite a bit of um, uh, collection and foreclosure uh, cases, and uh, the process has been typically uh, preparing a complaint once I approve it and get it signed. Then I have to have either a runner or, or a staff member uh, make copies of it and take it down to uh, the clerk's office for filing, paying the fees at the same time and waiting for it to be time stamped and returned to me. They're bringing papers and documents that need to be filed on cases, on civil cases in particular. So we would have attorneys, we'd have runners, we'd have legal paralegals, we would have staff from the, the court, bailiffs, judicial assistants, anything, uh, anyone who needs to have a document filed would be down here waiting to get something filed in the clerk's office. Uh, just about every day I would have to, to send my secretary out first to the copy shop, because we don't have a big fancy high volume copy machine, to the copy shop to make however many copies we need, then to go from there to the courthouse to physically file things, then to come back and stuff time stamp copies of things into envelopes and mail them out. At the counter, typically when someone would come in and uh, file a new case, staff had to go in, add the parties, they had to rece receipt the monies, they had to file stamp and put information into our case management system. Uh, at the counter, we would just put the main parties, then we'd move over to service, and in the service they would have to uh, add additional parties. 
mortgage foreclosure cases, it's not usual to, uh, unusual to have eight plus parties. So it was very time consuming just to get the information to the case management system. The issues of storage of records are extreme. We, we pay a lot of money every year to store records that rightfully we have to keep and maintain for many, many years. We currently uh, cost the county taxpayers over $330,000 a year to store paper. It's an extreme transition moving people from paper to electronic documents in any arena. It's not just about technology, it's about, it's about really trying to make the case to people that even though change is sometimes painful <laughs> because we're used to doing stuff a certain way, um, in the end we benefit from that. I'm not real computer literate so at first it, it's a scary thought. I mean, because everything coming through without what you're used to, a paper document, uh, it was kind of scary. The citizens elected a judge, not a computer geek, so I need, I need computers for dummies. So I was concerned that it would be too complicated for someone like me um, who, once I get to the system, I'm fine, but I sometimes have problems getting there. My life changed greatly. It has absolutely changed the way that we have done our work. I'm told I was the very first person to file anything electronically. When an attorney calls after filing something, you have the ability to immediately see what they're talking about. When something is uh, filed in the e-filing system, it goes into the bailiff's queue. Uh, the bailiff determines whose queue it needs to go to next. Um, it could go straight to the judge's queue for signature. He presses a button, it's gone. There's no paper, there are no people, and it's, it's a great process. Now we have the double screen. So um, what you do is find the entry, then you open the document. And so you've got um, the e-filing system over here and you've got the document here. And you can scan the whole thing very easily, look for the points you want, uh, and then if it's a final appealable order, you hit final appealable language. If not, you don't do that, and then you hit sign and it's done. And then you just close it out and go to the next one. It's really enabled us to take the loss of staff that the budget has required us to do. We've lost 25% of our staff in the last five years. And we've been able to do that through technology, not just the e-filing, but other technological advances that we've been able to enjoy. Multiple boxes or file cabinets will now be on small storage on uh, on computers and accessible very very easily. We will not have the cost of storing these records because we can convert the electronic record right, right to microfiche for long-term re retention. It, it has greatly changed it. Um, now we don't uh, utilize the runner uh, to file documents. Uh, we're able to instantly file them. Um, it basically, the moment I approve a complaint, uh, it gets uploaded and filed that day. Uh, the turnaround time is uh, within minutes, and uh, uh, the thing I like the best is now I'm able to, uh, the moment after I file it, send it off to the client so they can see that the complaint's been filed. It's amazing. I mean, it is so easy. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Any judge, any bailiff can do it. If somebody files something today or this morning, I have it shortly after it's filed. Not only do I have it, my bailiff has it, my judicial assistant has it, and my uh, staff attorney has it, and we can all work on that item at the same time. We don't have to go look for a file. We don't have to pass the file around so that everybody gets to work on it. At the push of a button now, uh, you can uh, uh, get something filed and the uh, without anyone having to physically make copies without anyone having to physically walk it down to the courthouse uh, and moreover the e-filing system 
automatically sends notices out to everyone involved in a given case uh, uh, so that you don't need to physically serve them with paper like you had to before. I'm very excited because of the infrastructure we have, it's going to allow us to go so much further. Right now we're in civil cases, but I see for the future that we will be expanding into other air criminal cases and um, uh, many other areas of the court going electronic. It's out there uh, on the court's system, accessible by you 24 hours a day as long as you're connected to the internet. I'm proud of it. I mean, I think it's a natural evolution. I think it's the way that we need to be doing things. Um, and I'm, I'm really glad that Greg and his team and the judges of the court stepped up. And, and I'm also proud because we're the first common police court in Ohio to do this. The court costs have, have always been uh, part of uh, any practice of law. Uh, and any time we can uh, cut the clients a break, either through postage, through runner's fees, through uh, any administrative costs, it's always a benefit to the client. I'm never going to tell another court what to do. If someone has a system that works, that's, that's great. But I would invite any other court to come down and, uh, and visit ours, um, and, uh, or have some of our staff and Greg Brush's staff go up and do a demonstration or a, a presentation. But I think if other courts saw how well this works, that they, and I believe economically, in the long run it saves money too. You have people, judges, who were willing to say, you know, I'm in on this and I'm willing to work through this. We had folks that just let them do their work and, and that's what they did because we have great vendors that we work with and it, it, it's great when you have vendors that you can trust and you can uh, count on to ask questions and you don't feel like they're just trying to sell you something. I can't say enough about uh, the, uh, the success of this project being attributed to the cooperation between the clerk of courts and the general division and the judges of the court. Um, without, without really working as one organization, we could have never accomplished half of what we had done here. I would just say embrace the idea, learn all you can about it before it happens, and uh, go with it because it really is, it's wonderful. The whole process, I really, I don't have any complaints about. Even from the time I heard about it to the end of the training, I think everything was done very, very well, and I, I love it. Well, today we are mandatory electronic filing for all civil cases, uh, general civil cases. We've gone from a very paper-driven world in the civil world to um, paperless. My charge is to do it effectively, efficiently, and uh, deliver the best service that we can, and this is an area that we can do that in.